Some people's dads took them out and they played ball and they went fishing. I grew up begging skydivers to drop my toy parachutes. One of my favorite chores is mowing the lawn. That's when I kind of do most of my thinking. Every once in a while you get that epiphany. Bing. People ask me if I'm crazy. If you're not doing what you love, then I think you're crazy. I was born into a family that had a lot to do with aviation. I mean, my, my whole life has been about this. I grew up on a private airport, sitting on the ground as a little kid watching people skydive. That was totally normal for us. Everybody's normal is different. My name's Luke Akins. I'm a member of the Red Bull Air Force. How do I describe Luke? Yeah, Northwest Redneck. This is where we developed how many G's Felix was going to get. He's a tinker and inventor of all kinds of stuff. He was one of the few people out there that just was a natural canopy pilot. My cousin Andy Farrington is a member of the Red Bull Air Force with me here. People said they were coming to Washington and it was going to rain, and I mean, it's kind of hard to beat that. I mean, that's pretty magical up there. Andy's always one step ahead of everybody in the world of canopy flying. All around best athlete on our team. Andy Farrington's, in my opinion, like the cool kid. Like, he just oozes cool. Dude, Andy! Andy's always doing something that makes you go, whoa. Our grandpa started the family business. family-ran business teaching people how to skydive. For tandem jumps, it's 185 on the weekdays. My whole entire family skydives. It's just another day at the office. Andy and I have been jumping together so long, I would guess we have three to 4,000 jumps together. I'm quite a bit older than Andy. I was like, oh geez, I was the top dog, and then here comes my little cousin egging me on. On my 16th birthday, I made 15 skydives, and then I went down to the DMV and got my driver's license, and then have been hitting it hard ever since. You know, in my opinion, Andy's the best well-rounded skydiver in the world. Ah, he kind of intimidates me. <laughs> fourth of July for us isn't just a normal Fourth of July. We don't sit around the campfire drinking beer and relaxing. We do a whole bunch of skydiving. We look forward to it all year long. Cheney Stadium is such a big event for us every year since I was a little kid. I haven't jumped with Carrie since before the baby. This year, it ended up being myself, Andy, Carrie, and Andy's wife, Kasha. So it's cool, back to like the family jumping in. You really need to do this? Yeah. I'll be somewhere out here like this. Carrie will be on this step. They always still a little nerves. That's what keeps it exciting. You've got a lot of people watching. This is not a place to mess it up. OK, three minutes to exit. All right, everybody, welcome to Cheney Stadium tonight on this beautiful 3rd of July. If you look overhead tonight, you'll see a Cessna 182 holding jumpers from the Kapausen Skydivers and the Red Bull Air Force.
always fun uh, bringing in the American flag. You know, it kind of fires everybody up, and uh, you know, we maybe don't do it enough, but uh, it's just uh, you know, kind of one of those patriotic things that it makes you feel good to do. July was a super crazy month for me and my family. On top of all our regular 4th of July demos, I was also working on an event called Red Bull Aces, which I helped create and Andy competed in. Red Bull Aces is the first ever four cross wingsuit race. It's the first time in my career I've ever been given a budget and said, make something happen. It's not, can it be done, it was done. It's a huge success. I don't think anybody quite understands how much my family was able to help make this happen. You're almost crying, babe. I am, it's awesome. Great concept. I can't even believe how cool this is. Yeah, Luke, this event's awesome. We're in the finals day, uh, Red Bull Aces, Woo! world premiere. Yeah. This is it, you know, all the marbles, you know, on one jump. Um, it's gonna sound funny, but uh, my proudest moment was watching Andy and being able to announce that Andy won. Andy Farrington in first place. He's uh, like a brother to me. I stayed you out. You made of the it. event. You won the event. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I always thought that Andy had it in him to be the best, and it's really cool to see him step up on this stage and be able to prove it. And it's cool that I was able to help make that happen. Oh, I blew it. Yeah. <laughs> When I was watching the competitions, I wanted to be part of it. I do believe that Andy is faster than me, forward, uh, but I think I can see the angles. <laughs> We've been watching 4th of July fireworks in downtown Seattle for years and years, and this year I got the opportunity to organize a skydive into it. It's not your normal demonstration. We jump landing in the dark, in the water, these big fireworks on our legs. Four or five pounds worth of fireworks right here. One of the many tools prepping for the 4th of July, jumping into Gasworks Park. This thing will be shooting the magnesium flares out the back, 26 feet out. So then when we're doing 120 miles per hour with our wingsuit, it's gonna leave quite the trail. 4th of July in America. Woo! Neither one of us want to open our parachute with those sparks to fly up into them, so we jump out just high enough that our calculations will work out that the sparks should be burnt out. There's very few people I would trust, sight unseen, to follow me in landing in the dark, in the water, and that's the kind of thing you build over thousands and thousands of jumps together. My son's just turned two. Brand new one, 10 months old. The plan's to have our two kids raising up together. We're pushing the limit, all of us. I mean, that's what we do, that's why we're here, that's what we love, and I think if I changed that completely, I wouldn't be who I am. I don't want my son to look back someday and say, my dad used to be cool, you know? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's all wet, isn't it? <laughs> Land in the water. Land in the water. And unfortunately, in the sport, we lose friends. It happens. And I make sure I take every opportunity to tell my boy when I see him, you know, how much you love him. Tonight, the 5th of July, we'll do our own fireworks show. It's our 4th of July. The third, we did the Cheney jump. The fourth, we had the Seattle thing. Need it. You think that's funny? Fire in the hole! I think it's like any other family. I mean, I know families that are just avid hunters, for instance. This family's hobby happens to be flying airplanes and jumping out of them. Lance Aiken's about 6,000. Andy Farrington, 19,000. Luke Aiken's about 17,000. They're just both. <laughs> 
awesome skydivers. A little on the crazy side. <laughs> They feed off of each other, I do know that. Yeah! yeah. That would kick ass. All their lives, they have tried to one-up each other. <laughs> their performances got better because of that. When you have the feeling that you're going to work, but you're not really going to work, I think that's a good way to tell that you got the right profession. Once in a while, you take a moment, and you sit back and you look around at what you're doing, and you're like, wow, this is pretty incredible. Back in the old days, we didn't ask for permission much. We just kind of went out and did it. The sport was in its infancy. The gear was in its infancy. Nobody knew how anything worked. We were a part of this tiny little group of people that, for lack of better words, invented free flying. 